Are you using reorder points in Fishbowl? A lot of people say no. And I have to think, we purchase Fishbowl to reduce stockouts and overstocks. So why not define what those are? We don't want to have stockouts. In order to reduce stockouts, we need a minimum threshold that alarms us before it gets too low. I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, Fishbowl expert since 2006. In this video, we're going to understand how Fishbowl calculates reorder points and how you can depend on them. So let's start here. I'm gonna draw a vertical line. This represents the day you receive inventory. Your inventory goes up. Whoop. And then time goes by and you're hoping it'll sell. And then all of a sudden, whoop, it sells. More time goes by and then you sell some more. Down, down. Whoop, hopefully not too far down, right? And then we receive some more in and then it goes down again. And it goes through this cycle. This obviously right here means we're out of it. That's the scary zone, we never want to be there. This area is the minimum. We never want to be below that. So decide what that minimum is. Decide it in number of days or quantity. Just decide at what point are you freaked out when your inventory gets down that low. Each part has its own minimum. Up here, you'll see this is the maximum. That's the area that is just too expensive to stock more than that. And you really don't need more than that because you can purchase more. So that's your maximum. If it gets over that, then you're experiencing an overstock or an overage. So the minimum quantity, that's a shoot from the hip quantity. You just decide that on your own. But this overstock, we actually calculate that. And I'll get to that in a minute. But first of all, let's decide how we can prevent having a stock out. And that is to calculate a reorder point. That's the point where you issue the purchase order. And then once you issue the purchase order, your vendor will send it to you and it takes this amount of time before it gets to you. That's your lead time. So what is this reorder point? This is the point where Fishbowl says, hey, it's time to issue a purchase order. And then Fishbowl will calculate how much you need to buy in order to get back to this maximum level. Pretty cool, huh? In order to figure out what your reorder point is, you have to go backwards. Start with your minimum quantity and then go backwards with your lead time and your average sale per day. So look at this calculation. Your reorder point equal your lead time in days plus your minimum stock in days. Once you sum those two up, multiply it by your average sale per day. And bingo, you've got your reorder point. So each part in the system may be purchased from a different vendor or groups of parts will be purchased from a vendor and each part may have a different lead time. Maybe your vendor has the same lead time for everything, maybe he doesn't. Lucky for you, Fishbowl calculates your lead time. So if you've been using Fishbowl for a while, you can run a custom report. We have a, a calculator that you could grab if you want that, and basically it runs the lead time for every single part. You have to decide on what your minimum quantity is though. From there, our custom report will calculate what your reorder point is, especially if you've already been using Fishbowl and you have an average sale per day already in the system. If you're just barely starting to use Fishbowl, then you'll need to manually plug in your lead time and manually plug in your average sale per day. Once you have a reorder point, how do we say Fishbowl don't tell us to buy too much? This is our maximum threshold. We don't want more than this in stock. Your order up to level factors in one more thing, and that's your order interval. Now, most of you, before you purchase Fishbowl, probably purchasing more on a reactionary basis. We see that a lot, where you're maybe calculating on a spreadsheet or you're experiencing stockouts, but stop and think for a minute, how frequently do you purchase from this vendor? Or maybe think in a perfect world, how frequently would you purchase from this vendor? If the vendor is close by, you may just buy from them every day because shipping costs aren't a factor. If 
the vendors in China or somewhere across the ocean, then obviously you were going to purchase less frequently. So there is an order frequency. Fishbowl calls this order interval. It's the period of time that passes in between the day you issue the PO until the day you issue the PO again. So between this period to this period. That's your order interval. Your order up to level equals your reorder point plus your order interval multiplied by your average sale per day. Okay, so when you first started using Fishbowl, you may have just created the reorder points, the reorder point and the order up to level by making your best guess. Okay, hopefully you understand now it's calculated. You want to use this calculation so it'll work right, Fishbowl. Okay, we have a custom reorder point calculator you can use. In this calculator, you'll see here Fishbowl already calculated the lead time on some of these and already calculated an average sale per day. And if there's a lead time and if there's an average sale per day, then Fishbowl will calculate an order up to level. But what we want to add is the minimum days of inventory. So let's say we never want to get less than a week behind and we purchase every 30 days. It takes 10 days to get to us. We purchase it every 30 days and we sell, we sell on average 33 and a third parts. So because of that, Fishbowl is saying that this should be your reorder point and this should be your order up to level. Your minimum quantity is your minimum days multiplied by the average sale per day. So minimum quantity equals this times that's your minimum quantity. You're going to order at this point. 10 days will go by as we wait for the vendor to send it to us. While those 10 days go by, inventory is going to get down to this number. That's our cushion right there. So we're never out of it. And then once we receive the inventory, it's going to get back up to this number. All right. One of the biggest concerns most people have when going to reorder points is immediately it tells them to buy more than they want. Moving from a reactionary run around with like a chicken with your head cut off environment, always being out of inventory, to a controlled environment where you never get below the minimum and you never go above the maximum, it's quite an adjustment if you think about it and it affects the wallet. So when you first start using reorder points, you may want to be really conservative so you're not experiencing the shock factor because Fishbowl actually will keep you above the minimum. But if you actually re use reorder points, the next step in using reorder points is using the auto PO report or the reorder report or the auto PO wizard. Okay, these are the tools that Fishbowl uses to keep you in the threshold you want to be in. That beautiful world of comfort and awe. Manufacture orders or work orders also have lead time, but if you're manufacturing, this is your manufacturing lead time. So think about this from a manufacturing perspective too not just a purchasing perspective. And in the next video, I'm going to show you the purchasing tools and even the production planning tools Fishbowl has to help you decide what to manufacture, how much and how much to manufacture, also what to buy and how much to buy.